Sensei David here. So it's holiday time, and I'm sure one of you is going to get one of these bad boys at home. Um, the problem with these is a lot of times they just end up sitting at home in the garage, in the attic, in the basement. Nobody uses them, and they don't know how to use them. So we're going to do a couple of drills that we can uh, do at home with the weight master. So if you have a pair of gloves, even better. Get yourself a pair of gloves. Um, I would personally suggest ordering them from a boxing or martial arts supplier versus just picking them up at your local uh, sports store. If you do end up picking them up at a local sports store, uh, try to get yourself 16 ounces and up. Avoid the little 12 ounce gloves. I mean, you wanna work out, so you don't need those little uh, featherweight gloves. Might as well just wear winter gloves if you're gonna do that. Um, all right, so basic drills. We're gonna do a basic jab. Choose a uh, starting leg. So in my case, I'm gonna go with my right leg. Keep your hand up. Just jab the bag. Jab, jab, jab. You know, drop the shoulders. Relax as many as you can. Either pick a number, you know, 50, 100, or use uh, intervals. Use your uh, phone. Go for 60 seconds at a time. You do one side, switch sides. We'll do the other side. Another one you can do is we can go jab, cross, just jab, cross, jab, cross. A uh, common mistake most people do as far as uh, in the cardio classes is they just use their arms versus using their whole body and turning with the motion. You know, and keeping the arms up. As we get tired, we tend to drop our hands. We end up kind of looking like this. So you want to make sure you move. Twisting the bottom foot. Let the body move with the motion. You can then add jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Remember that's a motion of three. So it's a three hit combo. One, two, three. Don't turn it into one, two, wait. And then go, go, just one, two, three. So those are three hitting uh, drills. Another one you can do, uh, get your legs involved, squat down. In uh, Japanese, we call this chikolachi. It's a horse stance. Get nice and low, um, not too low, but just about keeping, keeping the thighs nice and tense. Put your arms straight out and just tap in the bag. So it keeps your arms nice and straight, and you're gonna feel this in your forearms. Another popular drill is just right here, same concept, higher up, the elbows are bent in. Another one, stand sideways. You can also do it in the Chico Dachi, you wanna get the legs involved. You wanna bend your elbow, almost like it's right behind you. Just really quick, hitting the side of the bag that you're gonna feel it in your arms let's move on to kicking drills well we have all our basic kicks really we have hands up our front kicks alternating hitting with the ball of the foot so there's a clear difference between whether you're pushing the bag or you're just tapping on the bag and we're just tapping it that's okay or you can push using the hip Slightly different motion, push forward. Now, if you are pushing the bag, make sure you have enough weight in the bag, whether it's some sand, water, gravel, but you wanna make sure the bag is uh, weighted down really well. Um, another popular one, let's see, kicks. Drop the bag as low as you can, just kick over the bag, over the bag. In two out kicks, you can change directions, go one side, other side, and fr the front kick you just did, that's kicking the bag, or you wanna really up it, try to kick above the bag, but slowly, controlling the motion. Knee up, so you got balance, and then up, back down. Another one is our hook kick. Raise it up, if you need a little help with balance, Put one hand on the bag, turn away from the bag, bottom foot faces away, knee up. Don't point the knee down, keep the knee up, and just tap the bag with your heel. You're gonna feel this on your backside, it's a really hard exercise. 
Make it a little harder. Then go down, up, down, up, down, up. That's another one. The hook kick, which you just saw me do. You know, that one is good to build leg strength. Drop the bag, kicking over. So you can use this many different ways. Uh, another popular one, using the base. We actually just want to step on the base. Step up, throw the knee up. Alternate, step up, throw the knee up. If you get really good at it, you can step up, over, and back down. When doing the step up, um, if you step off the, the base, this is much easier to do than if you stay on the base at all times. Pick the knee up, pick the knee up. So you can do that like a knee thrust. Some people add punches. So add punch. Another popular drill with the bags. This is a very popular Taekwondo drill. So one foot on the bag, touch the bag, pop. So touch the bag, pop. You speed up the motion, multiple kicks. Um, make it even harder, try to do 10 kicks, 20 kicks. Try to do intervals. It helps to lean back a little bit. If you lean back, it helps get the hips to come out. Another one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Another one, another one. Back up the arms. Just your basic stand here as quick as you can. Uppercuts. You can do what's called um, like a blitz on the upper, uh, on the bag. So for this, you're gonna either need a partner or some type of interval uh, stopwatch. A lot of uh, apps today have them. You wanna go on the, on the bag as fast as you can. Come up to the bag, quick, 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 quick. As hard, as fast as you can. 15, 20 seconds, stop. 10 seconds, breathe, back on. Not even 10 seconds, I'm sorry. Cut that down to maybe two, three seconds. You come off. Back on, as quick as you can, as quick as you can, as quick as you can. Back off, as quick as you can, as quick as you can. Do that for about 10, 15 seconds. It's a good cardio workout. It's uh, mimicking the actual fight. You know, when you're fighting, regardless of what you do, you usually kind of bounce around, bounce around, bounce around, and then you attack, one, two, three, four, and then back out. One, two, three, four, then back out. Um, so, We can get into ground stuff, but I will uh, have another video for you with different sit-up and ab drills. We can do from the ground using the Wave Master. Very popular. This thing's been around for a while. Uh, Century is the original creator. Today there are, you know, there's a, a lot of versions of this. This runs you about $130, maybe $150, $160 with the shipping. If you search online, uh, sites like Craigslist, you can probably get away with finding a couple for 75, 80 bucks. There's always somebody that um, is giving one away or wants to sell it because it's just sitting there not taking up, not being used, basically. Um, if you can find one, uh, things to look out for. Let's take this off. There are little notches in here. These notches hook into your bag. Right here. So this is what changes the levels of the bags. You want to make sure that this thing will hold on. Sometimes what happens is people don't know how to move these bags and they end up scraping up the notches. Actually, let me show them to you. Let's see if you can take a look in there. <laughs> Hope you can see that. There's like little notches in there. So you don't want those to be worn down because then you're not gonna be able to have your bag at the bag at different levels. What else, what else? Another thing to pay attention for if you do want to pick up one of these is the seam. Um, you know, if you come across this somewhere at a store and you know, at a thrift shop or someone's giving it away at a, uh, maybe a yard sale or something, um, you know, push it around a little bit or ask them because sometimes you fill them up with water 
and it, it's cracked somewhere on the seam and it'll start dripping water. If that's the case, it's not the end of the world. It just means you can't use water. You can fill them up with sand um, or if sand is also leaking out. You can also do uh, like wood, the, the rubber wood chips that you can pick up at Home Depot. Um, that's a good alternative. It is much easier to get the water out of this than the sand or anything else. So keep that in mind. Um, that's it really. Wave Master is it's a good piece of equipment. You can do a lot with it if you know a lot of drills, which is uh, the idea. Now you can do something. So if you're going to get one for the holidays, now you have some stuff you can do at home. No excuse to not use it. So remember to subscribe. Follow me on uh, social media, Facebook, Vine, hashtag Sensei David. Or uh, if you're in the uh, Gainesburg area, come out and check out one of our classes. Talk to you real soon. Hey guys, Sensei David here. So it's holiday time and I'm sure one of you is going to get one of these bad boys at home. Um, the problem with these is a lot of times they just end up sitting at home in the garage, in the attic, in the basement. Nobody uses them and they don't know how to use them. So we're going to do a couple of drills that we can uh, do at home with the weight master. So if you have a pair of gloves, even better. Get yourself a pair of gloves. Um, I would personally suggest ordering them from a boxing or martial arts supplier versus just picking them up at your local uh, sports store. If you do end up picking them up at a local sports store, uh, try to get yourself 16 ounces and up. Avoid the little 12 ounce gloves. I mean, you wanna work out, so you don't need those little uh, featherweight gloves. Might as well just wear winter gloves if you're gonna do that. Um, all right, so basically,